So I was lucky to be graduating from Stanford in 1999, which was the height of the first bubble. Uh, and so if you had a computer science degree from Stanford, you had lots of offers to choose from. So I, in all, all, in, all in, had 14 offers. I spent spring break thinking about, like, well, how am I going to make this decision? And I decided that I should think about all the other very good decisions I had you know, decisions I had made in life that I felt very good about. And those decisions were going to Stanford, changing my major uh, to from, I was going to be a doctor, so changing from pediatric neuroscience and chemistry and biology over to symbolic systems. Uh, I had spent a summer at SRI working in the AI lab, and I moved to Switzerland for a summer working in their research lab at, at, uh, at the Union Bank of Switzerland. And so I thought about those things, and I said, okay, those are all radically different decisions, where you go to college, what you major in, your summer internships, moving to another country, you know, what do they have in common? And I realized that the two things they had in common was that I always surrounded myself with the smartest people I could find. Because I think that when you're surrounded by smart people, they challenge you and they make you think about things you know, harder and, and just rise to another level. And the second thing is, I always did something I felt a little unready to do. Moving far away for, for college changing to a major I couldn't even really describe myself, let alone like describe to my father. <laughs> right? like, um, you know, going to SRI after I'd only taken two programming classes and like they were all programming in Lisp and I programmed in C, which was like speaking a foreign language. I was like, how do I get a variable? How do I get a global variable? And they were like, set ends? I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, I mean, it was like, it was like talking different languages and then actually moving to Switzerland where the very first day I met my landlady, she had me sign 60 pages worth of forms. It could have been a confession to a crime that I couldn't read. I went to the grocery store and got in trouble because it turns out you buy produ produce in Europe completely differently. You have to print your own sticker. <laughs> so if you go buy grapes, you have to weigh it and print your own sticker out. I went with my grapes unweighed, unstickered. And this woman just started yelling at me in German. And I was like, <laughs> eventually I was like, I, I, don't, I don't know. And she finally, just went <laughs> she finally just went and stickered my grapes for me. <laughs> and I remember going back to my apartment just being like, what was I thinking? Like, I don't speak the language. I can't even buy produce here. Like, <laughs> and you know, it ended up being this really, because I think when you do something you're not ready to do, that's when you push yourself and when you grow. And when you sort of move through that moment of uncomfort or discomfort of like, wow, what have I gotten myself into this time? And you know, Google, I was really impressed with Larry and Sergey. Uh, you know, they made this amazing transition from PhD students to real businessmen who saw how they wanted to change the world, and search was a part of that vision. But also, my, one of my closest friends, Craig Silverstein, was their first engineer. And to this day, he's one of my closest friends. I still count him among the five smartest people I've ever met in person. So I was like, you know, I just want to go to Google and code alongside Craig. You know, these guys want to build a company. And there are eight people, and they can't seem to even pay for someone to vacuum the floor. <laughs> After they tear apart their own business cards and create all these schnibbles. <laughs> like, um, but you know, they, you know, I think they may succeed, they may fail. But I'm going to learn more being there trying to build a company, being in the room as the decisions get made. Uh, you know, I'll learn more there, even if we fail, than I will succeeding in some of these other places. 